Colorful, vibrant, energy efficient, environmentally conscious, and community focused. Active and walkable with pools, tennis, and basketball, multiple parks, a community garden, and a local plant nursery. Top rated school district next to the Loop and New Medical Center. Stick around to learn more. Hello and welcome, Blaine Bond, Tucson, Arizona with EXP Realty and welcome to this episode of Living in Tucson, your Tucson real estate connection. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at Tucson's most eco-friendly and tight-knit communities, Zavano. Can't wait to show you around. Savano is a community located in southeast Tucson, Arizona. Savano exemplifies new urbanism combined with sustainable design. Originally envisioned as a solar village, Savano includes eco-friendly elements like energy-efficient homes, reduced surface temperatures, and a focus on walkability. The community emphasizes southwest architectural styles and offers green spaces, trails, and mixed-use areas. Although only two neighborhoods were fully realized, Savano remains a valuable model for sustainable urban design and continues to draw interest for its climate conscious approach and vibrant community atmosphere. Savano is beautiful to look at, culturally sensitive, and measurably sustainable. Savano was, and still is, ahead of its time. Planned in 1996, Savano set a standard for what was then a radical idea, combining new urbanism and green design. Savano's origins go back to the oil crisis of the 1970s, when a group of solar energy advocates promoted the creation of a solar village in Tucson. Through the early 1990s, the state of Arizona provided funding to study this aspirational idea. Oil prices went back down during this time and the prohibitive cost of solar generated power did not. Nearly all attempts to go beyond aspirational planning were thwarted. By the mid 1990s, Tucson had become a typical southwestern sprawling city. These two images illustrate a reality that has so many implications. The city of Tucson began looking for alternative models for accommodating growth, adopting the old Tucson Solar Village project as a starting point. Figuring out how to do all this and keep the housing prices aimed at the average home buyer in Tucson was a daunting task. However, there was an acknowledgement that addressing the challenges of sprawl would mandate a broader scope than the old primary focus on solar energy. The city of Tucson sponsored nearly 60 community meetings to find what people wanted in their communities, leading to what would be the backbone of the envisioned experiment, the integrated method of performance and cost tracking, the impact system. The resulting impact system's goals were as follows, reduce home energy use by 50%. The use of solar energy to achieve this was strongly encouraged, if not outright mandated. Reduce residential potable water use by 60%, reduce vehicle miles traveled by 40%. Address housing affordability by ensuring that 10% of houses built would meet government definitions of affordability. Create jobs within the community, either by building 300 square feet of non-residential building for every two houses built, or by creating one job on-site for every two houses built. And to reduce construction waste and provide for recycling in the build-out of the community. Circling back to the goal to have non-residential buildings for every two houses. Like many visions of this new look at community living, this vision was not quite fully realized. However, there is much to be celebrated and emulated with the goals that have been achieved here in Sivano. Sivano has emerged as an urban design laboratory. As such, Sivano is one of the most academically studied new urban projects with impressive findings for climate mitigation and livability. The community's maturation over the last 20 years vindicates the principles of new urbanism and the canons of sustainable design, with measurable results demonstrating a notably smaller heat island effect and documented radically lower home energy bills. Savano offers lessons for new urbanist community builders that will become ever more critical as the climate shifts and energy efficiency becomes increasingly important. Part of addressing the water reduction requirement, an aggressive tread lightly on the land approach to site development was implemented. Rainfall is gathered and directed to the surrounding desert with a regenerative impact. Over 6,000 cacti, trees, and plants were salvaged and reused in Savano. The community's residences, commercial spaces, and schools also utilize rain harvesting cisterns which helped more evenly distribute water between our rainy and dry seasons here in Southern Arizona. In 1999, Savano had its grand opening. Savano faced challenges such as builder changes and financial issues, yet it remained committed to its sustainability goals. Savano now rests on a 1,200 acre development consisting of four neighborhoods, a town center, 
an environmental technology business park, 2,700 homes, and nearly 1 million square feet of commercial and light industrial space. I mentioned earlier that Sivano has four neighborhoods. We will soon look into each of those. It's important to mention that of these neighborhoods, Sivano is essentially divided by two phases. While the primary focus of this video is to showcase phase one, it is worth mentioning that Sivano Association 2 was not designed to maintain Sivano's current energy standards or traditional neighborhood design. Sivano's neighborhoods, or more accurately districts, are the Center District, General District, the Edge District, and the Orchard District. Let's zoom in and take a quick look around one of Sivano's commercial zones, the Sivano Nursery. The Savano Nursery is a family-owned and operated plant nursery in Tucson that opened its doors to its garden center in 1999, and its plant nursery never stopped growing since then. Savano Nursery branded plants can now be found in the best garden centers in Arizona, California, New Mexico, Nevada, and Texas. The Savano Nursery does not just offer plants and trees and accessories. It helps you with a wide array of services, whether it's taking care of your children when you are at the nursery, or delivering your plants and planting them, or even helping you design your entire garden. The nursery offers nearly 600 different plants, trees, and cacti. What I love most about the Savano Nursery is its horticultural services. From plant identification, problem solving, and garden landscape design, their local horticulturalists are there to share their knowledge for a successful garden. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see my full video tour of the nursery. I could linger here for another hour, but let's get back to the neighborhood and run some numbers. Savano offers a wide variety of home sizes ranging from 1,140 square feet patio style and townhome style homes, up to 3,350 square feet homes with detached casitas. The patio style homes as shown here from above are longer homes and are not attached like a traditional patio or townhome. You can see some have a second level with the majority being single level homes. You may or may not have noticed, but part of the Sivano master plan was to keep the majority of the streets walkable and to maintain the curb appeal of the community. The main through streets in Sivano are reserved for the front of homes, with the majority of garages designed to face one another. However, the color palette used in Sivano has even those streets looking quite charming. Since I mentioned Sivano's walkability, let's zoom back out for a moment and step into the Google Earth time machine. Let's hover over the Orchard District and travel back to 2005, as it's easier to see the path system before the maturation of the trees and foliage. Access to the many parks, pools, community center, and schools is provided by Savano's extensive walking trail network, making Savano a safe, walkable community. Here we are on the eastern side of the Orchard District. You can see the egress to the walking path network, the sidewalk, and the boulevard separated walking and cycling pathway to our left. Here in the Orchard District are what was envisioned as desert country homes. Home sizes vary, with the average home sitting just over 2,000 square feet, having three to four bedrooms and two or three bathrooms. Let's strafe on along to the General and Edge District to our left. The camera I used to film the driving shots overheated, so we'll stay in flight for a moment. Looking down, you will see slightly smaller homes with a range in square feet between 12 and 2,400, resting at an average of 1,600 square feet. These homes have an average of three bedrooms and two baths with detached garages. Wrapping up on the districts, last but not least the Edge District. The term for the northern part of the Edge District is University Homes, predominantly L-shaped layouts with attached garages, ranging from around 12 to 1700 square feet with three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Now let's look at home pricing in Savano. This data was pulled from the past six months. This video was recorded in early October 2024. In the past six months, there has been a total of 16 closed homes, the smallest being an 1172 square feet two bedroom, two bathroom home that sold for just over $338,000 or $216 per square feet. The average home in Savano in the past six months is around three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms at around 1,800 square feet at around $448,000 or $249 per square foot. The overall average dollar per square foot for single family homes in Tucson in August 2024 was $231. The average home price in Tucson came in around $415,000 while the Savano average is around $448,000. Homes in Savano have a range in size and the two bedroom, two bathroom homes are certainly the most affordable. Though if you are considering Savano for below $400,000, make sure you are ready because those homes have an average days on market of just three days. Savano is a homeowners association neighborhood currently managed by Paul Ash. The association fees are surprisingly low at just $122 a month. Wrapping up, here are a few other things to mention about Savano. Savano is within the coveted Vail Unified School District, which is ranked number one in Tucson and second in all of Arizona, according to Niche.com and Tucson Locals. 
Savannah Community School is a rural public K through eight that serves right around 150 students. The Savannah School is a mixed age classroom because kids often learn better from their community of peers. By blending ages and levels, they can provide continuous learning and support connections. Family members are encouraged to be engaged by volunteering support for a variety of needs. The Savannah School also has community time and opportunity for the whole school to gather at the start of each day, which is led by students and is an opportunity to share celebrate and build the community. Another honorable mention is that Savano is just a stone's throw away from the brand new Tucson Medical Center. The TMC offers both urgent and emergency care. Savano is located just across from Fantasy Island Mountain Bike Park, just a few miles from Fantasy Island Trailhead. And of course, Savano is situated along the eastern north-south portion of the famous Tucson Loop system. I've done my best to path out the majority of the loop as seen here. The orange are official sections of the loop, the blue are connection paths, which are constructed just the same as the loop, the red are connecting roads with bike lanes, and the brown are dirt paths. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to send you the KML files that I have made and imported so far. That about wraps it up for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you got any value out of this, make sure to leave us an internet high five. Buying or selling a home is one of the biggest decisions you'll ever make. That's why you need a local Tucson expert real estate partner. With all the exciting reasons you have for buying a home, one of the biggest reasons is it can dramatically increase your family's wealth. So whether you're looking to purchase your first home, your next home, a second home, an investment property, or maybe you want to sell your home, choosing an experienced real estate expert to help you will make it a smooth and easy process. And choosing the right realtor can make the difference of more money in your pocket after closing. So whether you're a first time home buyer or a seasoned investor, or maybe just interested in knowing what your home's worth, contact Tyler Ford and team today. Call Tyler Ford and team today at 520-775-3400. That's 520-775-3400.